Megan, this is your portfolio review. I mean, uh, you know, I, I love your drawings and I love your comics and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I love your Breath of the Wild fan art. Uh, so, yeah, let's look at your sequences. Cool. And you said you took uh, one feature storyboarding class uh, since uh, since we last uh, since we last talked. Uh, cool. All right. So let's look at your stuff. Um, first off, like, cool, cool, cool. We've talked about this before, but your presentation is good. Um, you know, there's a there's a story sequence right there. I mean, I know I know exactly what I'm looking at. I'm looking at your story portfolio. Your contact information is right there. Uh, your Twitter information is right there. Your comics is right there. So I mean, your presentation is really great. Um, <clears throat> you know, you got the single panel, single panel, and then you know the four up, or I guess the tw sorry twelve up in this case. Uh, cool. And another sequence. The date. Yep. Nonfat milk. Cool. Yeah. 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 And like all this stuff, you know, this is really it's it's really clear that you want a board. Uh, and you want to do either boarding or revisions. Um, so it's <clears throat> like the presentation is great. So, uh, you know, we'll dig into your stuff. Uh, cool. No, oh, right, I can go arrow keys. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So, I mean, your use of sound effects, uh, as, as always, to do the storytelling is great. I mean, I know exactly, I know exactly what's going on in this moment. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we hear some stuff off screen. Uh, bonus, I don't know where she went. Like, I know, I know exactly what what's happening. Uh, yep. Flops over him. Do, do, do. Yep. Uh, I think, yeah, and this is always a tough thing when you're trying to cut to the other side. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're trying to cut to a, a, another character's point of view, uh, where you have the character, or you have your main character running right to left, and then you're trying to, trying to cut to another character's point of view, and then they're running left to right. Uh, some directors uh, are okay with it. I tend to try and keep direction consistent. Um, so I don't know if you want to be uh, if you want to be with her with her, uh, and then you're on a shot where like she's running, uh, she's running to camera, you know, uh, and then we hear off screen. And she looks up and she's like, oh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, and then we cut to, uh, I don't know, we cut to her point of view. Because if you do a, if you do a neutral shot like this, uh, where you're with her, let's say like you're right on, uh, you're right on axis with her. Uh, and then she looks up, you can basically, this basically resets screen direction. So then if she looks up left, you can cut to, you know, uh, her running in the foreground. You can cut to a shot like this. Um, you can cut to a shot like this where you're looking down at her and she's going right to left again. So, uh, you know, use your <clears throat> um, use neutral shots to to uh, reset screen direction if you need to. But I mean, your drawings are really nice. Your character expressions are really clear as always. Uh, after her, so he's going. Uh, yeah. So your geography is a little off here, because I feel like by now we've already passed this guy. We've already passed Sleeping Fighter guy. And then he's going right to left. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so whatever you can do, I guess he's going right to left here. I mean, this is the only one shot where you have that character going left to right. 
Um, so if you can get around that somehow and make everything else work, maybe everything else work. But also, it kind of felt like we were past this guy. So the geography feels a little weird, but I mean, that's a really fun camera move there. She gets up. That's fun. Some fun acting there. Oh, if I just can get up. Yep, cool. Oh, that was a nice reveal. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That's a, a fun, nice, a nice little surprise and not be paid. Hey, boss, wait up. This is a nice little surprise because my eye is now on this new guy on the new lackey. This guy just puts his, uh, the fighter just puts his arms out. That's a nice, fun joke. I just still dig that. Cool. That's a nice shot to get him, to get him going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So besides that one shot uh, where you have some you know, left to right issues, like uh, everything else is playing pretty, pretty well. I don't think I've seen this sequence, right? Yeah. Cool, this is fun. Yep. <laughs> cool. So I know you're you're writing these sequences at the same time, if I recall, uh, at the same time that you're boarding them. So, uh, mom, help! I might have thrown in um, because this shot to this shot is uh, is a little bit of a jump. Uh, is a little bit of a jump because uh, your mom character is. Uh, is uh, kind of waist up or is thigh high up, <clears throat> and then cutting to this, uh, and cutting to this, we're not getting much additional information except just to set up the conversation. So I, I might have actually, mom, mom, help. What do you, what do you mean help? You look so beautiful. I might have, I might have done this whole conversation in this framing, uh, in the same shot, uh, unless. Unless you wanted to break it up with a cutting to an insert to her, uh, to the um, to the young girl, but you could do a lot of this in this same shot, so she could run up to her mom, and uh, all this fun action could happen in that same shot. So we don't necessarily need to cut to the mom there, but um, it's not bad. I mean, this isn't a great cut, but I get you want the fun of her zipping in there, and you want to get to this shot. So that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> so this is this is a fun shot, yeah. This is some fun acting. You could have, I mean, since you're drawing this. Oh, is the video frozen? I hope the video hasn't frozen. Oh. No, uh, supposedly the video hasn't frozen. It's looking good. Um, hmm. Let me check Twitch. Oh, okay, cool. All right, good. Um, you could have like could have done this shot. Like Megan, you probably could have done all this in the same shot. So just have her walk off. Yeah, have her walk off and kind of follow her to the chair and have all this fun acting, and then you can cut into her. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, this is fun. This is some fun acting. Yeah, so I'm losing geography between the characters. 
uh, a little bit between here and here. I mean, it would have been nice. Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, Ann, can I come in? Uh, it would have been nice for this shot to be... Um, to be uh, an over the shoulder on, because uh, now your point of view character is uh, is the person who just walked in from here. So it would have been nice to like have a door frame shot, or okay, there's the door frame, and then you know she's on the bed there. She's on the bed there, just to understand the spatial relationships between the characters. So, uh, you know, uh, there, it's a little bit of a damage. That's, oof, I should not have drawn the horizon there. Um, but just to understand the spatial relationship between the characters a little bit more, because um, it's feeling like uh, it's feeling like uh, your characters are isolated, are, are isolated here because we're going back to the same shot. So I want to, yeah. Oh, that's a nice transformation. Ah. We could have probably done this a little closer. Mom told me what happened. That sucks. Yeah, because we're cutting just single to single to single to single. And you can probably do a lot of this action in less in less cuts. Or um because if I was if I was uh if I was Aqua there, I probably would have walked in would have walked in more to the room and tried to try to sit down on the bed and comfort her a little bit more. Uh, so it's feeling a little stoic here where your characters haven't been moving around. But that's a really fun transformation sequence. This is real fun. Uh, I'm assuming that's a pan down. Yeah, that's a pan down. All right. Or is that a pan down? Uh, if, that's a, if that's not a pan down, it probably should be. Because then it'll work. Oh, oh no, we got screen direction problems. Ah, uh, Megan. Uh, she came in left to right. She's been looking... Um, yeah, because she's looking right to left, and then we cut here, and she's looking right to left, and then, ah, uh, she's acting kind of towards camera, and then, oh, she's acting right to left here, and then she goes down to the bed, but then Aqua comes in from the left. Oh, no! Um, so you could have probably done all this and just flipped the bed. Or just flipped this. Well, if you flip this whole shot, do I look a little weird? No, I could have gotten that to work. If the bed is here, bed is here, kind of against the wall, and this other character is there, and the transformation character is there. Yeah, that could have worked. And then you wouldn't have, and you could flip all this, and you wouldn't have your right to left problems. Yeah, that would, that would work. But I, I, yeah, we've got some right to left problems here. Uh, but again, like your your change of expression, like your drawings are appealing, and your change of expressions is super clear. So I can read the board. Uh, I can read the board really well and really easily, even without knowing what the dialogue is. And that's nice. And that's nice. So you cut from her. Cut down to that. That's nice. And then she gets up. Cool. And then you could use the get up to motivate the cut to the wide. That's cool. And they see a nice change. Nice hug. Yeah. That's that's dope. This is fun. This is really fun. I'm going to advise you again. So, again, I, I talk cinematically. Um, and I'm going to advise you. Phew, I'm going to advise you against cutting from that to that. Because, again, you're cutting from a very similar shot to a similar shot, unless that's a pan. But if it's a pan, we should be following her. She sits. Cool. Cool. And then. Probably. Could have gotten the same information from here to here somehow. 
We could probably could. She looked up. We probably could have panned up to the waiter. Um, probably could have panned up to the waiter from her. So we're on this shot, and she's at the table. I'm like, okay, she's there. When the waiter comes in, we probably could have panned up to the dish. Uh, boom. probably could have panned up to the dish or uh, panned up or widened out to include all three of them uh, as the waiter comes in. Uh, excuse the framing on the left side there. You want to like compensate and you would want to go even further. But um, you probably, probably could have widened out uh, to this shot instead of uh, widened out to the shot instead of cutting to this new shot. Yeah, you probably could have done all of that, all of that in the previous shot. Cool, dope. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, I probably would have pushed this shot even further, uh, just to really emphasize the difference, but... She looks at it, hmm. I mean, I might have pushed this shot. I'm not going to put her mouth in the middle of her face. Yeah. In order to really emphasize uh, her expression on there, I just had the side of her face there, just almost at the tension of the film frame. I push that even further, so basically framing it like in here uh, to make this more of a change between that shot and that shot. Oh, she's getting proposed to. I mean, as, as always, Megan, like, your character expressions are really solid. Uh, everything is really, really clear. Um, oh, yeah, I do remember the sequence. Cool. Uh, I just want to, I just, um, yeah, I want to encourage you to keep, keep keep looking at film sequences. Keep looking at, you know, Incredibles or uh, or Frozen or or your favorite TV show. Uh, your favorite TV show with the sound off and look at those shots because your character expressions are really solid and your storytelling is pretty pretty solid. Um, the the storytelling is just slightly clumsy. Um, but I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's if you are on a TV production situation, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure some uh, some mentoring would help you would help you come along rather quickly. Uh, and looking at your stuff, like it looks good for, I mean, probably for a storyboard revisionist. Um, uh, I hope you're applying to gigs. I hope you're applying to storyboard revisionist gigs um, online. Because, uh, like, I would love for you to get on a hot list somewhere, Cartoon Network or DreamWorks or, or Disney or something like that. Um, yeah, 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 because your stuff is pretty fun. Uh, I want to encourage you, again, to keep looking. Keep looking at uh, where to place the camera. Keep looking at where... Uh, sh other shows or other uh, movies and place the camera because um, you really want to make it feel like it's a like it's a person in the scene and the the perspective in some of the shots is kind is a little weird um, I mean it's very specific to you but it's a little weird uh, and um, uh, you can use probably less shots you can compact your storytelling uh, so that it's even clearer what you want the audience to look at. But, like, you're getting there. You're getting there, and I want to keep encouraging you because, uh, you know, I love your drawings. Um, and I want to keep pushing you uh, to keep going for it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Thanks.